Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and this video is going to be criticizing Xbox. I don't like to make these videos because I really love Xbox, but Xbox, you deserve this one. So as you guys know, comm bans happen a lot, and you can actually artificially create a comms ban, in fact. You can send a friend, literally just put every swear word in a message and have them report you, and Xbox will, in fact, comm ban you. It's... It's an interesting experiment. And for the past, I would say, month, month and a half, I've been playing Rainbow Six Siege. Now, I send people messages if they do a good job. Not if they do a bad job, because it's kind of... I'm at the point where if someone makes a mistake, I'm like, oh, you know, yeah, they're a bad teammate, but I know why they made this fake. Not because they suck, but because they were thinking this, 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 you know? And it's very easy to think of that, um, you know, put myself in that person's shoes. When someone does good, though, I know that they're thinking really hard because, you know, when I do good, I'm thinking really hard. And so I usually send people, like, if they ace it, I send them fire, or if they do, like, a 1v3 clutch or something crazy like that, or I just watch them do something I never thought of. Um, like, the other day, someone had a really pro e echo play. I'm like, I'm gonna send a message. Be like, you're good at the game or whatever. So I sent... Basically, every stranger I have sent a message to, past 25 to 50 people, have been positive. Then I got in an argument with someone about um, their clan being bad and whether I was bad or not. And it's like, fine, whatever. And I made fun of them for not being able to own up to their mistakes, which, honestly, for me, didn't seem that bad. But apparently Xbox doesn't like that. Because there was a swear word. There was two swear words, one from me, one from him. So, um, I got a comms ban, and I contacted support, and they're like, yeah, no, that, that jet, you have a chance of repealing this, because that's kind of not fair. And this sets it up for the video title, which is Xbox, they don't care about positivity as much as they might seem. A lot of companies, they'll have policy changes on their communications platforms, right? Like, none of this type of talking, none of these words, none of this, right? And it's they can say it's an effort to do whatever xbox says they want everyone to feel i think they want to see everyone wants to feel included well that's kind of dumb because the more people that they include by taking away your ability to same argue or criticize then that then that takes the the crowd of people that don't communicate at all adds them in the crowd that criticize shrinks them up right so it's really a oxymoron but anyway that's not the issue i have the issue is positivity what are they doing to reward positivity absolutely nothing absolutely nothing my reputation was still as uh you know there's like five levels right stars will always be a four star even though i'm sending people positive messages like good job you did this you get a fire you get a pro echo this that and the other like it, it, that does nothing to my rep, but getting in an argument with, by the way, one person, a person, out of, like, Siege, I play with Ragnar all the time, so every game, we meet eight new people, right? Ten games is 80 people. 80 people, all right? Probably played, like, 50, yeah, literally probably played 50 to 100 games, 800 people, right? Four to 800 people, and I send 49 of them, 5%, 10 to 5, 5 to 10% of them, good, positive messages, and I send one person, right? Not even 1% of the people I meet, a bad message. And I get a slap on the wrist for it. This is just another reason for me why I really don't like Xbox Live messaging. It's good as a utility for, like hey, invite me, or hey, let me just share this Xbox clip instead of sending it to you from Messenger, right? But as an actual communications platform, the party chat sucks, all right? The messages suck because literally every message you send underneath the message is like, do you want to report this message? Like, if they were promoting positivity there would be less of a focus on reporting. Very simple. They have a focus not on positivity, but on getting rid of negativity. Very distinct. 
very distinct. All right. And it's two ways of looking at the same issue, right? And it, it like promoting positivity is a lot harder to have people do than just report messages by far it's a lot harder but if your message is going to be not wanting to be negative right they even say in their enforcement policies we want courtesy right no you don't want courtesy you want either more utility and less conversation on the messages and parties or you want less negativity courtesy does not equal less negativity courtesy equals more positivity right very distinct and so i'm unhappy with xbox that they made this decision i'm only saying that i mean i've gotten comms banned i think four times now the other three times were totally justified 100 percent. but this one their messaging says positivity no okay just you, you saw a message with a swear word in it literally because the other person i think probably got banned too and it's like what what can i do right i can report the other people but that just adds fuel to the fire right so with all that being said i want to know your guys's opinions on xbox's policy if what they do is right or wrong i'm not saying because i'm a five-year xbox veteran i should be banned da, da, da. no it's because they want positivity i've been sending positive messages and i still get banned like everyone else from one person i made a single person mad so with that being said guys i'm pacific the casual gamer i suck just as bad as you do at video games and i will see you in the next episode stream vlog or steam it post of whatever i decide to make